Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Thursday the 5th, and today was a gorgeous day outside. Absolutely stunning, beautiful morning, a little chilly, um, not too bad. I ended up spending the night up there in the Walmart there um, in Des Moines area, and was right next to the Green Belt, Belt Trail. So I got up, got a um, couple things in the van done, nothing big deal, brushed my teeth, got kind of, you know, stuff like that taken care of real quick. Headed out to the trail and limped my butt down to the little beach front area they kind of built in there on the river, which is kind of a cool little thing. Uh, hadn't ever seen it before. It was new since I've been up there running since. Went ahead, uh, went back, let Bruce run around, play around stuff, of course. Went to the dog park, which is about a half mile from where I was at. The little beach thing was probably about a half mile also from where I was parked at. So you cannot get better social or um, centrally located uh, spot to be sleeping at. Um, ended up over at the dog park and there was nobody around so we didn't hang out there very long at all. I let him run around for a few minutes and he was just standing next to me bored. He's like, you know, there's nobody here to entertain me. Let's go do something else. So we took off and went and did some other running we had to do. Um, went and did some shopping, got some supplies. Ended up over at the gym that I have a membership to. Um, got showered up and stuff, which was awesome. It's so nice to have access to a shower in um, a town that's two hours away from where you live. So worked out real well. Got cleaned up there. Um, also had the fun time of getting my hair cut um, and it's just it's amazing I'd forget how long my hair had really gotten until I went to shower today and it was crazy with the I had no sh um, hair to really whip the shampoo up into a lather and stuff it's kind of that weird feeling and it reminded me back when I was a kid I used to have super long hair like damn near my ass and the day I washed my hair after I cut all that off it was crazy I had this big handful of shampoo and I was like what the hell am I do with all the shampoo like it was like a week's worth instead of the one day it was ridiculous how much did, how much that made so Went ahead, um, went and hit a couple of pet stores and stuff, had a lot of fun letting Bruce run around, meet people and greet people and stuff. And also I forgot to mention stuff with the barber shop and um the there was a lady walking by and she wanted to meet Bruce with her little girl and so they came in the barber shop and met Bruce, which was a cool little feeling and stuff. So hung out there, um, got done with a handful of the stuff. I already got to the um gym, got cleaned up in that today. Headed back to the dog park and there's only one free dog park in Des Moines area anymore. Um, so I went ahead, head back there. And as I drove by, you can see it from the interstate. And I was like, oh crap, there's only one dog there. So I almost didn't stop. And I thought, screw it, I'm going to go ahead and stop. So I went ahead, um, pulled in there, walked about a half, I don't know, it's probably a quarter mile maybe from that spot. It's actually closer to the new spot I parked at. And um, walked over to the dog park and that, and there was only one dog there. And he didn't really even come play, like didn't even gonna come up and meet us at the fence and stuff. And I was kind of bummed. Got in there and the little guy just come running from the park like about out of hell and met Bruce. And they wrestled and fought and played and little five month old um, Labrador named Bucky and they played and played and played for like ever and a few other dogs came and went and they played with them and came back to play with each other and quite a bit of stuff and the um, wonderful young lady that was there and stuff with um, Bucky was we were talking to her and stuff quite a bit and she was just a lot of fun she's out of the Chicago area um, chatted with her for a long long time did not realize any clue how long I'd been there uh, I was there for like a couple hours I think probably it was ridiculous how long we were there and probably would have been there much longer except she had to um, go drop some stuff off she had to run by school and pick up some stuff and go drop it off at work so end up heading out of there um, I was done so there was two dogs left at that point but they weren't playing with Bruce and Bruce wasn't playing with them so went ahead and just walked out with her uh, basically we chatted all the way out to the vehicles. I parked right behind her and headed out. Um, had a bunch more run to do. Had some um, Lowe's, some Home Depot's, some uh, Menards. Got a bunch of supplies for the van. I spent so much damn money. I bought a ton of wood. Um, crazy amount of wood. I found some discounted wood. They were selling out dirt cheap, one of the lumber yards, and bought just so much of that stuff. It's ridiculous. I probably spent a thousand bucks on these couple days up there. It's ridiculous how much money I spent. Um, got some supplies I needed from my air compressor, a bunch of other stuff. Um, got a bunch of insulation from a van. Hopefully I can get that going at it pretty soon. Started heading home. It was storming. Actually, it was raining when I was up in Des Moines. Uh, met our runners at the pet, uh, pet Smart. Was going to head out, and it was raining like hell. I'll have to wait around here a few minutes, see if it passes. And the guy just walked in, and he was wearing an IMT jacket and a damn to damn hat, which are a couple races up there in Des Moines. And I talked to that guy for, um, I don't know, probably 20 minutes or so while the rain was passing and ended up, uh, he wants me to do some dog training with his um, little dog. It's a little Westy, I guess. Pretty sure it's a little Westy. And I told him, I said, I'm up here often. And he said he gets down near um, Central Area, which is where I live, quite a bit too. He comes down to the lake and has some family or friends down here or something. So talks like he's going to drop the dog off. We're going to do some training. And I said, my big thing is I want to train you how to train your own dog. Because I can teach the dog. I can knock that dog out in a week and have it working great and then I take it back home and unless you're doing the same stuff I'm doing it's not going to stick so I'm going to work with him on that we'll see how that goes and I told him I said hell we might even go for a run together and stuff sometimes so he's still 
run marathons. He's in his, he's 72 years old, something like that. So he's still, it's, it's pretty impressive. So went ahead, we were chatting off and on and stuff and that for a while. And the rain kind of settled, knocked back a bit. So I went ahead and went and got the last of my supplies and decided I was going to head to Otumwa to hang out at my buddy's house tonight. I was going to camp out in the van in the driveway there. Then kind of probably smoke a cigar or two tonight before I head to bed. And then tomorrow we're going to hang out and do some other stuff. And I ended up getting a call and my neighbor needed my help tomorrow. So I said to hell and just headed on home. So kind of glad I did in a way. Um, I had so much, I would have had to unpack the van to even sleep in my bag. So I had lumber piled up and there was ridiculous how much lumber I bought. I had to keep it out of the way so Bruce wasn't in Hamburg and, you know, and it, his space wasn't encroached, I guess, whatever. So went ahead, um, got home and it was raining here like hell. Yeah, it storms bad. I was driving like 40, 45 at times. Couldn't see the road at all. And it was still raining when I got here and I thought, fuck it. So I left my mattress in the van and just slept on the couch last night. Or, well, that's my plan. I'm sleeping on the couch tonight. So said to hell with it. Uh, no big deal. And we'll see how that goes. I slept on that same couch for like five years after my motorcycle wreck and I haven't slept on it really since then so it'll be interesting to see how that turns out so anyway that's pretty much all I got for now I will talk to you guys tomorrow have yourself a safe and wonderful day thanks for watching